So welcome back. Now this was the example which we, we discussed of 1815 Tambora earthquake of Indonesia where almost 10,000 people were been killed. So example, another example from the French Caribbean island. Mount St. Helens before the event of 1980 after the event. So, you can you can see this the amount of material which was been blown up completely. If you compare this photograph here, this whole portion was been blown up. So, it says that during the eruption much of the northern side, so this is the northern side of the composite volcano was blown away and the altitude of the summit was reduced approximately by 400 meters. So, you can think of that 400 meters material was been completely blown off. Okay. So, the elevation or the height was almost 9677 feet before and 8,363 8, feet was after that. So, this much amount of material was been removed in terms of the height. This is in Karakatau, as I was talking that this island, uh, uh, this volcano is close to the ocean. So, whenever there is a volcanic eruption here, it, it results into the local landslide resulting into the tsunami. So, 1883 Karakatau eruption of Indonesia, one of the deadliest event in Indonesia until now. It occurred on 26 August 1883, started to emit ash and then exploded. This is also an indication as soon as the ash has been starts coming up, okay, people will start to evacuate the areas. The explosion was heard as far as 4600 kilometers. So, this was you can understand that what was the amount of uh, material which was blown out as well as the, uh, the, the energy which was in it. So, it resulted into tsunami because of the landslide. Effect was felt worldwide and again almost like 20 cubic kilometer of debris was ejected during the eruption. So, it was a massive volcano. Okay. Temperature around, around the globe was topped by 1 degree. So, such volcanic eruptions will have an regional impact even if you are sitting away from the, the region where the volcanoes, active volcanoes are located. So, this is an another example from the, uh, the region of Indonesia and this volcano is named as Anak Karakatau eruption. Anak is what they call in a local language sun, the sun of Karakatau eruption and this volcano was uh, like it emerged in 1927 from the calendar that was formed during the eruption of uh, 1883. On 22nd December 2018, it exploded. However, it has been undergoing a shattering eruption since 2018 June. Large flank, which has been seen here of the southern side slide into the ocean which resulted into the tsunami. But of course, it was not as large as what uh, we were discussing of 1883 Karakatau eruption. So, around 220 
people were killed and more than 80 800 were injured during this volcano so this is a short video of uh, son of karakatao So, if you look at the, uh, um, if you watch the video again, uh, what uh, things have been pointed out is that the Indonesia was not having the early warning system for the landslide, which was been triggered uh, because uh, from this volcanic eruption. Uh, that is uh, your son of Karakatau volcano, oh, uh, Karakatau volcano. Now, uh, the point here which I would like to emphasize is this event of the volcanic eruption, it occurred after the, the tsunami, uh, which was, was again a devastating tsunami of 2018 Sulawesi or Palu tsunami. So, Palu tsunami event was triggered uh, recently, we uh, will come to this later on. So, this moved or slipped this plate okay. and the, the because of the major earthquake here, uh, this activity was been triggered that is a volcanic activity. So, it has been also learned that sometime if there is a major or large earthquake along subduction zone it may result into a volcanic eruption and this tells us or teaches us the lesson that yes of course the large earthquake will be followed by an major or minor volcanic eruption in the region now moving ahead let's see more examples and then uh, supina so tuba philippine earthquake Again, it was a devastating one. So, mostly what happened here was that it ejected vast amount of volcanic ash and sulfur dioxide. And then very fine particle, what we also call as an aerosol from the eruption remained in the upper atmosphere and circled the earth for more than a year. So, this was in another sense was devastating not only in the nearby area, but also affected the uh, worldwide areas. Okay. So, this dust cloud temporarily lowered the global temperature as we were talking about almost like a 1 degree and then Mount Pinotobu eruption was the second largest in 20th century. And another one was this one from Iceland as we have already talked about this that this again poured lot of ash in the atmosphere and affected many flights around the Britain and the, the European side northern Europe uh, where no flight was been almost for a week no flight was uh, been allowed to take off or land. 
beautiful example from Fuji, Mount Fuji from Japan with steep conical mount and this volcano has been fa is famous to in uh, like in a wave emitting or ejecting tephra and lava. But since several years nothing has happened here and this will be very much similar to what we have been talking about 1980 Mount St. Helen. Why? Because this is covered with uh, the peak has been snow cap is there. So, if the volcanic eruptions take place the surrounding areas definitely this whole area will be affected. So, the height is almost like 3776 meter last erupted in 1707. So, of course, there will be a next eruption because this is an one of the active volcano in Japan, but the most important point which I would like to mention here is that they are continuously monitoring the activities, volcanic activities in terms of the movement of magma as well as in terms of the earthquakes which are triggered uh, because of the movement of magma. So, volcanic rocks in India if you look at it will remind you that a very large part of the Indian plate has been occupied by Deccan plateau and this Deccan plateau is nothing but the made up of volcanic rocks. So, the occurrence of the volcanic rocks seen in India example Deccan traps locations Maharashtra some part of Gujarat and MP. So, this vol volcanic area almost occupy 2000 square miles of the Indian region and they were formed near the end of the Cretaceous period when there was a large volcanic activities around the globe due to volcanic activities when the Indian continent started drifting from the main Gondwana land. So, you need to refer back to the plate movement or the continental drift theory which was been discussed in, in the uh, lecture of plate tectonics which will explain and help you in understanding that what exactly happened at around 600, 665 million years back. These are also termed as Deccan traps and this Deccan traps gave good building stones and also yielded very fertile clay loamy particularly suited for the cotton cultivation. So, we have an advantage and disadvantages also from the volcanic eruptions. So, if you have if you are close to the ocean then you will have a very good aquatic life there as well as very fertile land because of the, the minerals which have been poured onto the surface from uh, because of the lava flow. Now, these are few events in terms of if you take the uh, geological uh, period. So, we have one around 65 million years back and this is at the time of Cretaceous and tertiary boundary extinction of dinosaurs and many other species. This was one of the uh, time then we have uh, like in Permian and Triassic boundary, but before that you will you will see that there is a there is a boundary where the again the volcanic eruption was there where during Triassic and Jurassic period extinction of over 50 percent of all species on the earth including the last of the mammals like reptiles leaving many dinosaurs on land and this was been in 65 now this Cretaceous tertiary extinction of dinosaurs and many other species. In Permian Triassic boundary the greatest mass extinction of all time 96 percent of all life on the earth at the end of so it was completely extinct. So, you can 
another part which you can look at that we have and very major phases where the may uh, the large volcanic eruptions were being experienced around the globe uh, which resulted into the extinction of many species on the earth so i would like to thank that we don't have such deadly volcanoes in india we are fortunate enough for that thank you so much